here's another example of a type of reversion. It's kind of a reverse reversion. So this sedum naturally has leaves that are dark green in the center with a lighter edge. So that's the normal coloration of this one. There are a couple of stems here that have developed almost pure white leaves. They have a little bit of green in the center. Now if you want to maintain the coloration of the original plant, you need to remove these two stems as well. But some people might take these out and try and grow them. This is how plant breeders find new cultivars. They're always looking for plants that have a stem that's kind of unusual, and then they take that stem and propagate it. And maybe down the road in a few years, they'll release that as a new type of cultivar. The problem with cultivars that have very little green in them is that they're usually very weak grower. Without the chlorophyll, the green color, they can't make food for themselves. And so that kind of a plant usually doesn't do very well in the garden. But it would be kind of an interesting experiment. Can I create a new type of sedum that has these white colored leaves? You can take any sedum. I'd cut the top off because it's flowering right now. And we don't want the flowers on there. You can take any cutting like this, strip the leaves off, leave the top couple. If you stick that in soil, it's going to root. These plants are really easy to propagate. 